Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about lateral wall of nose. Lateral wall of nose is a very important short question in your first year MBBS examinations. It is very frequently asked as a short question or a very short question and different parts of it can also be asked as a very short questions. So let us learn it very carefully. To start with, I am going to tell you some features about the lateral wall of nose, what is the lateral wall of nose, what it is made up of and then we will move on to the important structure that is concave of the nose. Concave are present on the lateral wall of nose, these are also known as nasal concave. What are these nasal concave and then we will move on to the meatuses of the nose, what are the different nasal meatuses which are present on the lateral wall of nose then we'll see different structures which are opening in the lateral wall of nasal cavity through the lateral wall of the nose okay these structures actually open inside the nasal cavity through the meatuses which are present on the lateral wall of nose and then we are going to see different a very important structure present on the lateral wall of nose which is known as spinoethmoidal recess okay so let us start with the features of the lateral wall of nose what is the lateral wall of nose lateral wall of nose is a wall which is forming is a structure which is forming the lateral part of the nose it is made up of cartilages and bones it is irregular owing in shape so lateral wall forms the lateral part of the nose it is made up of bones and cartilages and it is irregular owing in shape the lateral wall, the bones which are forming the lateral wall of nose, they form projections inside the nasal cavity. So, the pa inner part of the lateral wall of nose, that is the part which is facing the nasal cavity, is having the projections of the bone which are forming the lateral wall of nose. In simple terms, the bones which form the lateral wall of nose form projections inside the nasal cavity. Okay, these projections which are formed by the lateral wall of nose inside the nasal cavity are known as concha, which is singular, and concha, which is plural. So, there are basically three concha present in the lateral wall of nose. The first one is superior concha, second one is middle concha and the third one is inferior concha. Superior concha is the smallest proje projection from the lateral wall of nose. It is actually a projection of the ethmoid bone, ethmoid bone of the lateral wall of nose. The middle concha is a projection again from the ethmoid bone of the lateral wall of nose. So, lateral wall of nose is made up of bones. One of them is ethmoid bone and it forms a projection in the nasal cavity. Two projection it forms. The first one is the superior concha and the second one is middle concha. Superior concha is the smallest concha. And th then comes inferior concha. Inferior concha is a bony projection and it is an independent bone which is a part of lateral wall of nose. Okay. Now coming to meatuses of the nose. So beneath these projections there are some spaces which form passage. These spaces which are present beneath under the projection of the bone inside the nasal cavity they are known as meatuses of the nose. So, because we have three concave, there are three meatuses or passages present below them respectively. So, the passage or the meatus which is present below the superior concha which is the smallest concha and it is a projection of the ethmoid bone remember is known as superior meatus. Okay, the meatus which is present the middle below the middle concha or the passage which is present under the middle concha is known as middle meatus and the meatus which is present under the inferior concha is known as inferior meatus. Always remember the superior concha is the smallest concha as you can see in the picture also, is the smallest concha among the three nasal concha present in the lateral wall of nose and superior concha and the middle concha, both of them are the bony projections of the ethmoid bone which is forming the bony part of the lateral wall of nose. 
an inferior concha is the largest concha among the three nasal conchae and it is an independent bone which again forms the bony part of the lateral wall of nose and below these are the meatuses superior middle and inferior meatus respectively now above the lateral wall of nose above the lateral wall of nose superiorly towards the skull there is a small cavity present which is known as sphenoethmoidal recess okay we are going to see further in the slides now let us see what are the different openings inside the these meatuses of the lateral wall of nose so basically in our body actually in our skull we have different bones and in these different bones we have empty spaces present which are filled with air so the empty spaces which are present inside our skull and which are filled with air are known as sinuses now these empty spaces are actually present here and there around the nose therefore they are known as paranasal sinuses all these sinuses empty spaces which are present around here and there the nose which are known as paranasal sinuses all these they open inside the nasal cavity through lateral wall of nose okay so these air sinuses the paranasal sinuses contain air inside them and they open inside the nasal cavity and take the air outside of our body from how they are opening inside the nasal cavity they are opening inside the nasal cavity through lateral wall of nose so lateral wall of nose basically has openings of following sinuses the first sinus is frontal sinus which is present in the frontal bone the second is maxillary sinus which is present in the maxilla which forms the upper jaw and the second sinus is sphenoidal sinus which is present in the sphenoid bone of the skull and third sinus is ethmoidal sinus which is present in the ethmoid bone okay now ethmoid sinus is again divided into three parts anterior ethmoid sinus middle ethmoid sinus and posterior ethmoidal sinus so there are basically main four sinuses frontal maxillary sphenoidal and ethmoidal ethmoidal air sinus is again divided into three parts anterior middle and posterior based upon the location so the part of ethmoidal sinus which is present anterior is anterior ethmoidal sinus in the middle middle ethmoidal sinus and the posterior one is posterior ethmoidal sinus all these sinuses remember are named based on the bones in which they are present so ethmoidal sinus are present is present in the ethmoid bone sphenoidal is present in sphenoid bone frontal is present in frontal bone and maxillary is present in maxillary bone and since all these bones are present around the nasal cavity these sinuses are also present around the nasal cavity hence they are known as paranasal sinuses okay now let us see which sinus opens into which meatuses of the lateral wall of nose okay so first we will see the superior meatus of the lateral wall of nose the superior meatus is the meatus passage under the smallest concha that is superior concha this passage receives the opening of posterior ethmoidal sinus this passage receives the opening of only one sinus which is known as posterior ethmoidal sinus remember out of the two three sinus meatuses present in the lateral wall of nose the middle meatus receives the maximum openings now coming to the inferior meatus of the nose the inferior meatus of the nose actually receives a different opening of a different structure apart from these paranasal sinuses the inferior meatus of the nose receives opening of nasolacrimal duct nasolacrimal duct is a duct which is coming from the lacrimal apparatus carrying the tears this nasolacrimal duct opens into the inferior meatus of the nose at, at the junction of its posterior two thirds and anterior one thirds the opening of the nasolacrimal duct in the inferior meatus is guarded by a valve known as hasner's valve okay now 
this is about the inferior and superior meatus now coming to the most important meatus of the nose the lateral meatus of the uh, middle meatus of the nose middle meatus of the lateral wall of nose the middle meatus of the lateral wall of nose contains three important structures related to it so the middle meatus of the lateral wall of nose has an elevation present on it and a bulge like structure is present on the mid in the middle meatus of the lateral wall this bulge like structure was on the is present on the middle meatus of the lateral wall of the nose because behind it middle ethmoidal air sinus is present so because of presence of middle ethmoidal air sinus behind the middle meatus of the lateral wall there is a rounded bulging present which is known as ethmoidal bulla okay bulla ethmoidalis and the another structure which is present below this is known as deep semicircular sulcus which is known as hiatus semilunaris and below this a short passage is present at the anterior end of the hiatus semilunaris you can see in the picture a short passage is present which is known as infundibulum so the middle meatus has three structures in ethmoidal bulla bulla ethmoidalis hiatus semilunaris and infundibulum and it receives openings of following air sinuses it receives opening of frontal air sinus anterior and middle ethmoidal air sinus and maxillary air sinus okay now so middle meatus receives openings of frontal anterior middle ethmoidal air sinus and maxillary air sinus that is four sinuses always remember middle meatus is the largest meatus on the lateral wall of the nose now coming to sphenoethmoidal sinus what is sphenoethmoidal sinus or rhesus it is nothing but a fossa a depression which is present above the superior concha okay it is a depression which is present above the superior concha and it receives the opening of a very important sinus known as sphenoidal air sinus now sphenoidal air sinus is opening above the superior concha into a rhesus known as sphenoethmoidal rhesus okay you you can see that in the picture now one thing i want to tell you is middle meatus is very important and openings of middle meatus are also very important it they can be asked as short questions a lot of times in the exams so thank you for watching the video if you like it do press the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon thank you